Milestones are the goals or phases within this project. Let's start by creating our first milestone. Let's give our milestone a name and a description. We have the option to create a task list for this milestone. If we choose to do so, tasks created within the milestone will automatically populate within this list. If we decide not to do so, tasks created in this milestone will automatically populate in the furthest left list of our task board. I'm going to create a milestone list. We can choose to hide this milestone from people on our team or guests. Hiding a milestone will automatically hide all of the tasks that are tied to it. In this way, hiding a milestone from guests is a popular way to run internal deadlines alongside delivery deadlines in a client project. We can also choose to give this milestone a dependency, but we'll revisit this as we don't have any other milestones at this time. And there's our first milestone. Let's give it some tasks. You'll notice our tasks picked up the end date of our milestone. We can change these deadlines on the task level so long as the new due date is within the milestone's date range. You can set a milestone to recur based on date parameters. So for example, we can have a milestone recur every Monday at 9 a.m. forever. Or if we'd like to cap how long it recurs for, we can put an end date. This is a great way to automate sprint creation for weekly or biweekly sprints. Note that the tasks tied to the milestone will not recur with the milestone. We also have what are called story points. Story points help gauge the weight of a task and, in the case of a milestone, help gauge the weight of all the tasks tied to it. For example, let's say user interviews will take roughly two days. Let's give it two points. And let's say specifications will take three days, so we'll give it three points. Now we have a total story point weight of five points on this milestone. When we complete user interviews, our milestone shows as in progress, 50% because we finished one out of two tasks, and reflects that we've accomplished two of the five story points in this milestone. Now let's make a second milestone called design, and let's make this milestone dependent on our discovery milestone. And let's give it two tasks, UX and UI. You'll notice that these tasks are locked. We may enter these tasks and edit their information, but we cannot complete these tasks until all of the tasks and the dependent milestone are completed. Now that our discovery milestone is 100% complete and has earned all five story points, we're free to begin the tasks in the design milestone. We can move tasks between lists with a drop-down selector, but this may be a good time to visit swim lane view. Swim lane view shows our project task lists across from our milestones. This screen is excellent for managing which task should be in which list and in which milestone, and is popular amongst teams who shuffle tasks across backlogs or sprints. Be sure to use the date frame selector to view your milestones in the appropriate context, and download milestone progress reports to observe project details as a CSV. If you've created some tasks before creating milestones, you can easily tie those tasks to your milestone in the list view of your tasks module.